Section 5.5, multiple angle and product to sum identities. Double angle formulas. Let's start out with uh, the sum of two angles formula, where we have sine of alpha plus beta is sine alpha cosine of beta plus cosine alpha sine of beta. And what if we change those to the same angle? So we changed it to sine of the twice an angle, so 2 alpha. That would be sine of alpha cosine of alpha plus cosine of alpha sine of alpha. Now these two things are the same thing, sine cosine, sine cosine. So the formula for the, the double angle formula for sine is equal to 2 sine alpha cosine alpha. Let's do the exact same thing with cosine. Here's the angle addition formula. We got cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Well, what if we wanted cosine of alpha plus alpha? In other words, cosine of twice an angle. That's going to be cosine of alpha, cosine of alpha again, and then minus sine of alpha, sine of alpha. So that's equal to cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. With tangent, uh, we're going to have the tangent of 2 times alpha will be tangent of alpha plus tangent of alpha over 1 minus tangent of alpha, tangent of alpha. So on top, we have 2 tangent of alpha, and in the denominator, we have 1 minus tangent squared of alpha. So there's the double angle formula for tangent. If sine of theta is equal to negative 7 25ths on the interval, pi to 3 pi over 2, that's really the third quadrant, find sine of the twice the angle, cosine of twice the angle, and tangent of twice the angle. And here's the formulas that we were just, uh, that we just found out. Uh, in order to find these, we need to find out what cosine is. So let's do sine squared. That would be 49 over 625. That's negative 7 25 squared plus cosine squared theta. Now that's equal to 1. We have cosine squared theta is equal to 625 over 625 minus 49 over 20, uh, 625. And that is equal to 576 over 625. Now we just have to square root both sides. And cosine now is equal to 24 over 25. But that's going to be negative, negative, because we are in the third quadrant. Well, now that we have the sine of the angle and the cosine of the angle, we can find sine, cosine, and tangent of twice the angle. So let's start out with sine of twice the angle. That's equal to 2 times negative 24 over 25. That's actually the cosine of the angle. And then times the sine of the angle is negative 7 over 25. And when you multiply it all out, you get 350 over 625. And that reduces to 14 over 25. The cosine of twice the angle is equal to cosine squared, which is going to be 576 over 625, and then minus sine squared, which is 49 over 625. That's, e that's equal to 527 over 625. The tangent of twice the angle is equal to, let's take this value, which is sine, and this value, which is cosine, and we have 350 over 625, and then over 527 over 625. And then if we multiply the top and bottoms by 625, we have 350 over 527. If cosine of theta equals 3 fifths on the interval 0 to pi over 2, in other words, the first quadrant, find sine, cosine, and tangent of the double angle. Well, cosine plus sine squared is equal to 1. Now, sine squared is going to be equal to 16 over 25. Sine is equal to 4 fifths. So let's find the sine of the double angle. That's equal to 2 times sine times cosine, which is 3 fifths. That's equal to 24 over 
25. The cosine of twice the angle is equal to cosine squared, which is 9 25ths, minus sine squared, which is 16 25ths. And that's equal to negative 7 25ths. The tangent of the double angle is equal to, we can do sine over cosine, which is going to be negative 24 over 7. Solve sine of 2 theta minus sine of theta equals 0 on 0 to 2 pi. Well, the double angle formula for the sine of 2 theta is 2 sine of theta, cosine of theta, and then we have minus sine of theta equals 0. Let's factor out a sine theta, and we have 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. So sine of theta equals 0, so theta is equal to 0 and pi on one trip around the circle, and then cosine of theta is equal to 1 half, and that happens at pi over 3, and it also happens at 5 pi over 3. Solve cosine of 2 alpha equals negative sine squared alpha. Well, cosine of 2 alpha is equal to cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha, and that's equal to negative sine squared alpha. Uh, let's have uh, cosine squared alpha, and then we can add this sine squared over, which will be 0. So uh, cosine squared alpha equals 0. We have cosine of alpha equals 0. So alpha is equal to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Solve tangent of 2b equals 2 tangent of b. Well, the tangent of 2b is equal to 2 tangent of beta over 1 minus tangent squared beta. And that's equal to 2 tangent beta. Let's multiply both sides by 1 minus tangent squared. We get 2 tangent beta equals 2 tangent beta, and then times 1 minus tangent squared beta. Then divide by 2 tangent beta. 1 equals 1 minus tangent squared beta. We can minus 1, that's 0, equals negative tangent squared of beta. So tangent squared of beta is equal to 0. Then we get tangent of beta equals 0 when we square root. And finally, beta is equal to 0 and pi. That's where tangent is 0. Power reducing formulas. When we take the double angle formula for cosine, which is cosine squared minus sine squared, we can get rid of the sine squares, we can get rid of the cosine squares. For example, I can write cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, that's the cosine squared, and then we have minus sine squared theta. Then we just have to solve for sine squared. I have cosine of 2 theta, is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, uh, and then minus 1, so we have cosine of 2 theta minus 1 equals negative 2 sine squared theta, and then divide by negative 2. So we can write sine squared theta as uh, the negative will make the cosine negative, this negative will make that positive, uh, so we have 1 half minus 1 half cosine of 2 theta. Now we can replace sine squared with cosine of 2 theta. So we can take a problem from having squareds to uh, having a power of 1. Now we can do the same thing. We can get rid of uh, cosine squared. We have cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine squared theta, and then minus 1 minus cosine squared theta we have cosine of 2 theta is equal to cosine squared minus negative cosine squared is 2 cosine squared. So we have 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And then we can solve for cosine squared by adding 1. We have cosine of 2 theta plus 1 equals 2 cosine squared theta, and then just divide by 2. So cosine squared theta is uh, equal to, uh, we have, one half cosine of two theta 
plus one half.